So there are some properties of this uh, vector operations. Okay, we need to take a look at all of this. Let's say we have u, v, w, b vectors and a, b, b scalars. So there are nine of them. Let's take a look one by one. Okay, it says here u plus v is equals to v plus u. It means we can interchange the order. And then number two, if we have u plus v plus w, it is the same if we just add the first two vectors compared to adding the last two vectors first. It will be the same answer eventually. Okay, number three. If we have a vector u plus a zero vector, we will always get back the vector u. Okay, number four. If we have u plus the negation of u, that is negative u, Okay, then the summation of these two will give us a zero vector, not only zero number, but a zero vector. Number five, if we have a zero, number zero, multiply with a vector, u, we will get a zero vector. But if we take one, multiply with a vector u, we will always get back the u. Okay, number seven, if we want to multiply scalar b with u first, then only multiply with a, it will be the same if we just multiply the a and b first, followed by multiplying with the u. Number eight, if we have to find the addition of the two vectors u and v first, then only we multiply with a, it will be the same if we just multiply the a into the u and to the v, then only we find the summation. Lastly, if we have a plus b, the scalar, okay, we find the summation first, then only multiply with a u, it will be the same if we multiply, if we expand it, okay? We multiply the a with the u, we multiply the b with the u, then only we find the summation.